Um, my name is Mike Sweet, and I'm the supervisor of the town of Warwick, uh, next town over, and I'm also on the board of the Citizens Foundation. So my job tonight, uh, besides welcoming you, is to, is to give you a little commercial about the Citizens Foundation. Um, our president, Nancy Proak, would have been here this evening, but she had a mishap and broke an ankle, I believe. So she was going to try to hobble in, but it was very painful this afternoon, and she's begged off. But she does send uh, you her best wishes. And she's a dynamo, so I know it must really hurt or she would be here. Um, we do have the chair, chairwoman of our board, uh, Susan Havermill, is here. So I want to welcome her. Um, she's also director of Orange County Tourism, I believe. So we recognize that. And there's a few officials in the room. Let me just um, introduce them quickly. We have three county legislators here. We have Shannon Wong, John Biro, and Barry Cheney. And we thank them for coming. Thank you. Uh, we have our uh, Orange County Commissioner of Planning, David Church. I saw him earlier. He is here, David. Thank you very much. Um, we have a couple local officials. We have Mike Hayes from the town of Montgomery. The supervisor is there. And uh, Brendan Coyne is the mayor of the village of Cornwall on Hudson. Beautiful village. So we thank him for coming. Uh, so the Citizens Foundation. Uh, this is a grassroots organization. I'll just read you our... our um, a blurb that we have that says the Citizen Foundation is a not-for-profit organization driven by the influence of its members, so it's grassroots. It was started over 40 years ago with one simple but essential message, to improve the quality of life for the citizens of Orange County through public policy and advocacy. So again, it's a grassroots organization. Um, we, we look out, we're nonpartisan, we look out for the interests of all the citizens of Orange County and how we can continue to make this a better place. We speak out on issues all the time, transportation issues, housing issues, um, quality of life issues, uh, uh, agricultural issues, the wide spectrum. And this organization over those years has spurned, uh, uh, spurned off many uh, different organizations that you, you may be familiar with, uh, Orange Pathways, uh, Leadership Orange, uh, the, uh, the Orange County, what is it, the Foundation? Um, Community Foundation. Okay, so we, it all started with this this foundation. And again, the Citizens Foundation is here uh, to, to advocate for you, for the citizens of this county. And, and so I implore you, if you're not a member, to join the Citizens Foundation. Uh, it, it's very inexpensive. It's $100 a year, um, but it, it's just a great opportunity for you to affect how things change or don't change in Orange County. And tonight's a great example of that. Uh, this forum, uh, a discussion of, of a, regionalism, a regional approach to governance versus a local approach to governance, uh, was the uh, idea of just a member of the Citizen Foundation, Chip Murray, and he is here tonight, Chip, uh, and here he is in the front. And, and again, just a member of the organization, and, and he's been troubled by this issue and, and uh, uh, what seems to be a rush on certain levels to a regional approach to governing. Uh, and he, he came to the, to the Citizens, Citizens Foundation Executive Board and said, I'd like to do this. And so uh, John Lavelle, myself, and others got full support of the board and ran with it. So that's the power of this organization. And we really need you, if you're not a member, to consider joining. Bonnie is here. Bonnie tonight has uh, pamphlets and, and the way for you to do that. We also do this great um, report called the Quality of Life Report Card. It's, it's just chock full of information on the county, how it's changing in, in terms of transportation, housing, health care, all of the issues that are so important. Uh, this book is, is available for $25 if anybody wants it. Take a look at them. You won't find this information one place anywhere else but in this document. So we hope that you'll take a look at that. And so without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, John LaBelle, who is here, who my cohort in this with Chip. And he's going to give you a rundown on the forum tonight and introduce our first speaker. John? Thank you, Michael. Good evening, everybody, and uh, thank you for being here. It's really, it's very, very good to see so many of you here tonight because these issues are uh, obviously very important, but they're of increasing importance because the government is, no question, government is taking on ever-increasing role in all of our lives. So uh, this is going to be an outstanding dialogue. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you're all going to be entertained and informed. Uh, how this is going to work is we've got two speakers and a moderator. Uh, our speakers are Wendell Cox and Gerald Benjamin from SUNY New Paltz. And um, I'll introduce both of them in a moment. And our moderator will be Lou Heinbeck. And I think that uh, 
there probably isn't a single person in the room that doesn't know Lou Heimbach. Uh, he needs no introduction, but just in the way of introduction, he was the former county executive here of Orange County and uh, probably served on every board volunteer organization in the county that uh, was important at one point in time or another. So, Lou, thank you for your efforts and championship over time for Orange County residents. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce Mr. Benjamin, and then uh, we will introduce Mr. Cox, and then we will hold all questions till the end, and Mr. Heimbach will moderate those if we could do that, please. Gerald Benjamin is an Associate Vice President for Regional Engagement at SUNY New Paltz. He was appointed as Associate Vice President for Regional Engagement and Director of the Center for Research, Regional Education, and Outreach at SUNY New Paltz in 2008. This is the principal focus of the college's efforts to raise its level of engagement within communities, governments, not-for-profits, and businesses across the Hudson Valley. It seeks to conduct research on regional topics, create and direct institutes and programs to meet regional needs, and offer conferences and programs on matters of regional interest. Mr. Benjamin joined the university in 1968 and in 2002 received its highest rank, that of Distinguished Professor. He served as Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Science from 96 to 2008. And in addition to that role, he served on numerous commissions, both regionally and statewide, aimed at studying and improving the way governments work. That's an ad I was just doc doctoring up your, uh, your introduction. Gerald, Gerald Benjamin also served the United States Army and as a member of the Ulster County Legislature from 1981 to 1993. He was that body's chairman during his last three years. He earned a BA with distinction from St. Lawrence University, and his master's and doctoral degrees in political science are from Columbia. He resides with his wife in New Paltz. They have four children and two grandchildren, although that's never static. Grandchildren number always can change. And he's received numerous awards and recognitions. The list of his accomplishments in the region goes on and on, but I think I would suffice to say that when we have needed him, Gerald Benjamin has always been a friend to Orange County. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gerald Benjamin. <laughs> 